Hi everyone! Look who's Hi. here! It's Stephanie and Janelle. Oh, the Stephanie and Janelle show coming at you live. <laughs> Anyways, we are here today to talk about Janelle's progress, which has been very good and people are starting to notice. So Janelle, what's going on with you? I'm good today. I uh, I don't know if I would call my progress good. It's been like a roller coaster and you know, I'm trying not to live by the scale, but you know, sometimes you do anyway. So Sunday was my lowest. I was at 256.6 and so today I'm finally back to 256.7 um, because I didn't drink anything Sunday. I was up three pounds Monday and then I lost two Tuesday and was down the other 1.2 and so I'm like this close um, to being where I really want to be. My first goal is to be 250 to 255 um, and I really wanted to lose 30 pounds with this round and that would be 255.5 so just I'm right right there and today is supposed to be my last injection day, it's day 38, um, but I did skip a couple, so I have a little bit extra at home, and I am just going to push through a little bit longer until I reach that goal. I have, um, I could probably go until as late as Sunday if I had to, but we're going camping on the 4th of July, and P2 camping just isn't really going to work, so I need to make <laughs> sure I'm on P3 before we go camping. <sighs> But other than that, everything's going really well. Um, I have noticed that I'm getting hungry earlier in the day, so I tend to have my fruit um, around 11 instead of having it with or after I have my lunch. So I'm spacing out my food a little bit better. Um, what else? Oh, Stephanie and I had an exciting conversation about how you can go out to eat and um, still remain P2 friendly. Uh, because in the last week, I think I've gone out to eat four times, and so <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking she should write a really, blog, an HCG blog really on how to do P2 out at restaurants. So, what have you been eating, Janelle? Okay, so it's not like pop, it's not protocol, but it's not what I would consider cheating either. We went out Friday night. Um, should be dropping names of all the places I've been. Uh, it was, a, it was a Ricky Jay's. Maybe we'll get money. And they're like a lounge and bar and grill. They have a, a, like a family dining side. And their menu, uh, not so P2 friendly. But my aunt was having a, a prime rib, some kind of steak thing. And so I had her order a little bit extra large one and then just took a piece of that and had it with grilled onions. So... I managed to eat correctly, but I wouldn't necessarily call their menu friendly. Um, Saturday, my girlfriend came down and we went out for Mexican. And I got to tell you, uh, fajitas is the way to go because I had steak fajitas, now peppers, like I said, not protocol, but still well within reason to have onions and peppers and then pico de gallo with the tomatoes and onions and cilantro. And it was fabulous and still was losing. Like I said, I was way down Sunday, um, but I didn't drink, so that was my, my big mistake. I was probably too much salt from that eating drink out. alcohol or? Oh. But no, I mean, I like didn't drink anything. <laughs> no water, anything. not no. enough water. No alcohol, P2 is not <laughs> alcohol friendly. Um, and then yesterday I went out to lunch with a couple of girlfriends, and I learned that Mushu chicken is basically yakisoba without the noodles. So I had chicken breast with cabbage and onions and carrots. Um, I did pick out the carrots because they're a little too high in carb and I wanted to be as proper as I could be. And I probably ate the equivalent of one mushroom. Um, but I didn't eat the rice and I didn't eat the crepes or the sauce, which looked really yummy. Um, but still, I was down 1.2 this morning. So it's really just about knowing what you can have and making better choices. I still go out to eat and, you know, be social, but instead of ordering the chicken yakisoba and eating it with a bunch of noodles and the rice, although I've been, you know, foregoing the rice for quite a while now, I just didn't eat any carbs with it, and it was perfectly filling. Uh, it was probably more than I needed to eat, frankly. Um, so, <laughs> so I had a really light dinner. I just had a a little bit of chicken and a small tomato for dinner because I wasn't that hungry. Um, yeah, things so, are good. Things are going well, and I'm making some good lifestyle changes and looking forward to moving into P3 next week sometime. And 
already talking about the next round for September. Great. And so, update on my husband and I. We are workout fanatics. We have converted our rec room into kind of like a workout room. And my husband, I will hear noises upstairs in our bedroom. And it's him downstairs working out at 6 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> so he is so motivated and he is just doing so good. And uh, this weekend I went to Oregon and you know I'm on P3 and you know when I'm on P3, when I go on P3, I don't introduce things one at a time. <laughs> I just wild. Yeah, I go hog wild. So I gained a lot of weight and the next day when I came back I just decided to do a little P2 and four point. 4.6 pounds came off like that. So I'm within range and um, just, you know, talking to different people about it. My son just finished reading Weight Loss Apocalypse. And so we've been talking a lot about hunger scales. So I've been trying to really hard to just analyze, do some critical thinking. Am I really hungry? What's going on here? And trying to do the hunger scale. So that's really good. And so um, I'm going to get that book. I haven't even read the book yet. Um, but I'm going to get it and um, start doing that. Because I was talking to him about Dr. Simeon's protocol. And I said, you know, Dr. Simeon's to me is like kindergarten, first grade, elementary school. And then weight loss apocalypse is like older. <laughs> you know, after you kind of really are ready to um, dive into emotional things. I think weight loss apocalypse is really, really good. So, I mean, everybody has their different timing, but for me, that's the way it is. I just feel like I got to get Dr. Simeon's down, the, except P3, you know. And then I am going to go on to um, weight loss apocalypse. But So we wanted to end this with a body shot of Janelle so you can see her cute outfit she's wearing. And I asked her, why don't you just go like this, you know? <laughs> She didn't want to do that, so I don't it's know what the problem is. I can't is. get my leg that high, okay? <laughs> so so anyway, this but... This is the outfit hey, that I was talking about good. two weeks ago. Look, at she's like... That I am a size 8 still, so all yeah. is good, and I think working out is, you know, making inches smaller. So anyways, let's look at Janelle, okay? Yeah, you notice that I'm the only one here. Where are the rest of the ladies? So this is the outfit that I was talking about like two weeks ago that I was wearing with the with the denim skirt that my husband was looking at me this morning. So I don't think you gotta you gotta turn it maybe the other way. You oh there we go. You, I just moved can't do back. That. So you can see my cute little matching colored tights and shoes and all that good stuff. Okay now my head's cut off. You gotta come back up. <laughs> I can't do it this way. Okay. Okay. So yeah so, I have I have a real like shape thing going on here. It's it's nice. Groovy. Okay. So thanks everybody. Bye. And we'll see you later.